So this is how we just be using internet when off grid. This is how you get current to your house when you're off grid. Charge controller setup, batteries, internet. Stay tuned to today's video. Okay guys, so setting up our panel outside right now, so we are about to talk solar power, right? So this is a small power bank that she has outside here charging. So just now she had the next orientation, but I switching it around because currently the sun is this way and during the course of the day it will keep going this way until it's set. So putting it up in an angle like this so it will be going across right now the solar panel we have right now is one of them outside this is a 150 watt panel there is no more in these available the guy who was selling these solarized solutions on Facebook he has no more available so I just giving all the little rundown and showing you all the specs on it here as you all can see grade a 150 watts this is the cords here with the adapters on it right so you all seeing that this is how i have it rest down here it have solar throughout this entire house because all you know is off grid ways it have no tnt connection right now she's sending out her cord so this is her she said you have to pay for this video. This is a makeshift extension here. One of these are male. The next one is female, right? So, I'm going to connect it right now. So, you all can see. Male to female, female to male, right? Alright, so it's connected now. And the cord is running inside. So, let's walk inside to see the hookup inside now. As you all know, the entire house, as I said, powered by solar. We have solar light there, solar light over here. This is also a rechargeable light solar as well. These are actually two lights on one solar panel. We have it. With the flick of a switch, they will come on. It's connected to a charge controller over here. And the cost of that reveal is $25,000, okay? Now, I don't need them to see how I set up my apparatus. They have to pay for this one. Who's you? Okay, they do, I don't want nobody Who's to you? see how it's, how it's done. Yeah, she, you? This, this is general knowledge that you can learn on the internet. Don't worry, <laughs> that's, right? That's okay. She thinks she had a copyright um, pattern. <laughs> the clamps or anything because it's just something other, to the use. The other batteries has clamps yeah. on the other system. So we are only doing this because we want to connect um with the quality of internet for the interim, right? So we have two batteries here as you all can see. Over here now you can see on the charge controller how it goes is you have the panel coming in and going into the charge controller over here, right? So the panels are normally connected on the left hand side. This is 150 watts coming in over here now is which part you have your wiring coming down here to the batteries and if you have a direct current what you have basically like a light fix there was something that would normally come out of here and go directly to the light so over here you can see that the battery is basically dead that doesn't really matter because what we want to do is use the current that is coming off the panel directly what you will do now is get your inverter and connect your inverter to the battery to get the DC current converted. 
right dc stands for direct current so this is the inverter that we have here this is the one what i keep telling you about in price mat i have one in my car this is my mom own here so you connect this here to the live to the neutral you flip on the power switch and you have two outlets to plug in and a usb to plug in to charge your on and off switch there's a cooling fan in the back of it and this can push 225 watts of current right it also have a max which goes up to 225 peak surge sometimes when you put on a device it will only use about 10 watts to use but just by turning it on it will use two to three times the volume needed i now connected the inverter it's off boom it's on right now so if you want to plug in anything simple like that that is how it does work right all yeah i have current now if i want to switch it off I switch it off um let me explain to you all there are two types of charge controllers they are mppt and they are pwr i believe it's pwr they call the second one the mp the mtt you get more buck for your money let me go outside to explain it all right so as i did mention right this panel is 150 watts during the morning the sun rises in the east and sets in the west so from about 10 11 o'clock the sun will be around here to till about four o'clock around here and it will be at its hottest most brightest for about five six hours depending on your location and at that time you will get the most watts coming in when it's rising six seven o'clock in the morning on this panel you might only pick up like 30 40 watts until 10 11 when it's at its brightest you will get around 100 watts to 120 you will never ever ever get 150 watts coming in on 150 watts panel or whatever the size is you will never get the max so it's always good to have a high a high amount so you will get basically half of it or a little more what can 150 watts push that's the question that most people ask 150 watts can push basically anything you want but not for a long period of time that is where you have to do your research on what you're using how much current it need for example a lasco fan uses about 60 to 65 watts depending on the speed and if this is 150 watts right now the sun is in the cloud so you have no watts coming in or limited watts coming in currently so you're all seeing that right so probably we might be getting about 20 to 25 as the sun come back out now you're all seeing that it get back brighter we get in 50 come up most charge controllers can display currently the charge controller is not displaying the amount of watts coming in so that is why you need a battery so when the sun is like this hidden behind the clouds and going in and out you will be pulling from the battery currently we have nothing on the load so whatever is coming in is charging the battery so i hope all you following and all you understanding solar is really simple to understand i have a background in electrical installation and i'm telling you it does not matter whether you know it or don't know about electrical it's easy to understand this is mommy's fan that she has here for those who watch vlogmas you all know about the radiator fan with the on and off button right that is my favorite fan there right solarize you know you know how we just do it all here so simple setup we could plug anything to charge we could flip on this and put on the internet to use also as i said i'm going to show you something outside but this 250 tt dollars price mat using it on a battery using it in your home using it in your car your car go wrong outside here <laughs> i have my radio charging this is my radio that i purchased for 250 dollars it have a store that i showed you in arima right 
they sell these devices. This radio can actually play for more than 12 hours straight on low with all the battery dying. This works with solar power. There is a built-in battery there and uh, it can use two of the big batteries as well. So if I decide to take this battery out, I can still use the radio if I place it in the sun. The volume just can't go any max, but I can listen to the radio off of radio power alone. This radio has MP3, FM, AM and shortwave on it with a torchlight. So I, I really love listening to radio. I really and truly do play flash drive and YouTube music and thing. I, I just like listening to 94.7 stars. That is my channel. So radio outside get in charge as well. So simple setup. Simple setup. In Trinidad and Tobago, I encourage people to get solar panels, to get solar radios to get energy efficient light bulb because it's good for the environment and it's good for you as well this is the panel i told you outside that charging the two solar lights there so you see it simple setup simple setup y'all the guy when he gets more panels i will leave it down in the comment section with his information to contact him he has no more of these he had limited supply and I organized and I got these for my mom. So next set he have it may be 300 watts. These were these were at a good price. He can't he not guaranteed to have these at the price that he had it back then. So that is why I can't really give you all the information. I have to wait until he gets more. So let's go inside and hook up the internet right now. So this is how we just be using internet when off grid. So as you guys can see Put a little something where it looks healthy Watch one of grandma pumpkins watch hmm? Look one of granny pumpkins here See? Pumpkin Pumpkin Pumpkin, that's granny pumpkin Don't pick it, leave it Pumpkin Yes, that's granny pumpkin Granny's working hard in her garden.